everyone. In this question, we want to find the values of the constant k for which 2k minus 1 times x squared plus 6x plus k plus 1 equals 0 as real roots. We can use the discriminant to solve this problem. The key word is real roots. If we are looking for real roots, it means that we can have either one root or two root, which means that your discriminant, which is here, is either equal to 0 or greater than 0. We will start by writing the question again. We have 2k minus 1 x squared plus 6x plus k plus 1 equals 0. Compare that to the quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. By doing that, we can see that a equals 2k minus 1, b will equal 6, and c equals k plus 1. And these are the values that we write into our inequality. So we have b squared, which is 6 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2k minus 1, times c, which is k plus 1, greater than or equal to 0. So we have an inequality to solve. So we have 36 minus 4 times this product, which would be 2k squared plus 2k minus k minus 1, greater than or equal to 0. We will have 36 minus 4 times 2k squared plus k minus 1, greater than or equal to 0. Now we'll expand the 4 into the bracket. So we'll have 36 minus 8k squared minus 4k plus 4, greater than or equal to 0. And that will give us negative 8k squared minus 4k plus 40, greater than or equal to 0. Now we can make the inequality a bit easier to work with. So we'll divide it all by negative 4. So that would give us 2k squared plus k minus 10 less than or equal to 0. Remember, when you divide by a negative number, you need to reverse the direction of the inequality. This quadratic can be factorized. So we have 2k plus 5 times k minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. There are a few ways to solve quadratic inequalities. So let's try the graphical method. We will let y equal 2k plus 5 times k minus 2. To find the x-intercepts, we'll have 2k plus 5 times k minus 2 equals 0. The k will be equal negative 5 on 2 and 2. This value here is positive, so your graph is going to open upwards. So let's draw our graph. So we have 2 as one of the x-intercepts and negative 2.5 as the other one out there. So your graph is going to open upwards and may look something like this. So a function here is greater than 0. On the x-axis, your function will be equal to 0. And below the x-axis, your function is less than 0. Notice in the question, it's asking where is your function less than or equal to 0. So that will include your x-intercepts and anywhere in between the x-intercepts. This is where your function is negative. That means your solution is any number between negative 2.5 and 2. So we can write that as negative 2.5, and it can include negative 2.5 up until 2. In interval notation, we'd write that as x is a member of the set negative 2.5 to 2. That's your final answer. Thanks for watching.